Now for your community focus, today we're talking about monkeypox, and I'm joined with Dr. Erica Hardy, which is the Director of Infectious Disease at Women and Infants Hospital. Dr. Hardy, thank you so much for being with us. We're happy to be here. So this is a conversation a lot of people are having right now. They're concerned at how fast this is spreading. Uh, can you just walk us through how this started? I know that this wasn't really a problem that some people thought of at first, but it's spreading now. How, what is monkeypox? Let's start there. Sure. Um, monkeypox is a virus. It's been relatively rare, um, in, especially in this area um, of the world. And what we've seen is it can cause skin lesions and then sometimes some systemic symptoms like fevers, chills, um, headaches, muscle aches, and a pretty typical rash, which is the pox. Um, and there's been currently, it's been spreading in areas where it generally hasn't spread. So we've had more cases in the U.S., I think about a thousand cases. Um, including some in Massachusetts and Rhode Island and Connecticut. Um, I think overall, you know, the risk to Rhode Island I Islanders is low. Yeah, and can we just talk about how it's transmitted? Uh, it can be transmitted a lot of ways, but we're seeing a lot of cases across the country of it being transported through bodily fluids. Can you speak to that? Exactly. So it's generally, you know, it's less transmissible than COVID, which is transmissible through the air. Um, this is usually transmitted through close physical contact, so with the lesions um, or with bodily fluids of somebody who has monkeypox. So it's generally prolonged close physical contact. And what would you say the COVID pandemic has taught us about dealing with the spread of a disease or a virus and how we're able to deal with monkeypox as a result? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I think as each, um, you know, disease comes into our community, I think we've been prepared to recognize it, identify it, um, use prevention tactics and things like that. So I think we're well prepared to deal with, um, you know, each thing that comes along. And just piggybacking off of that, uh, I know right now the risk is low to Rhode Island, but over in Mass, they are seeing a bit of cases over there, even some people not even being able to get an appointment to get the vaccine. Uh, what do you think about that? And right now we're not a problem in Rhode Island, but if we did start to see the spread, what do you think we might be dealing with as far as availability of vaccines? Right, so right now a vaccine uh, for monkeypox prevention is being distributed by the Department of Health and so, and, and it's by being distributed federally. So um, they are prioritizing areas that have seen more cases. And so the CDC is using a formula looking at the population, looking at the numbers of cases and vaccine is being allocated based on that. So if we did start to see more cases in Rhode Island, um, then more vaccine would be allocated. And as more vaccine becomes available nationally, each state will get a bigger supply of vaccine. So right now things look good. Dr. Hardy, thank you so much for joining us here at 4. Absolutely.